This video will cover some basic guidelines for manual digitizing before we learn about the digitizing tools. If you are using artwork as a backdrop, go to Insert Artwork and navigate to the location of your artwork. I've already inserted this artwork. It's always a good idea when you are working with a piece of art in the background to do two things. First of all, select the art and right click and select lock. This is done so you won't accidentally move the artwork while you're digitizing. You can see that there is a lock in the lower right corner of the picture in color film. If I click on show objects, the actual picture is shown and there is still a lock in the lower right hand corner. The second thing you should do is right click on show who and check manual centering and click OK. This will leave your digitized stitches where you place them in the hoop rather than having the stitches move to the center of the hoop. Keep in mind these rules for digitizing and using the tools. Left clicks are used for creating straight lines and for changing direction. Right clicks are used for curves. It takes three clicks before the shape of an object is formed. When creating a closed object, always let the software close the shape by pressing enter rather than clicking on the first click. The software will always do a better job of closing a shape. Don't use too many clicks. A smoother line is created with fewer clicks. Zoom in on the background for greater accuracy. Don't get hung up when a click doesn't land on a line because you won't be stitching over the artwork. If it is slightly off, it is okay. Backspace will erase the last digitized point. You can use the backspace key multiple times. If you really make a mistake and wish to start over, escape lets you start all over. You can always use reshape after the shape is digitized. So don't worry when you're learning to digitize. You have three things to decide when you digitize. First of all, the tool to use. The tools are all found in the digitized toolbox. Secondly, the color of the object. And the third is the type of stitch you wish to use. You can draw your shape first by selecting only the tool and then edit the color and stitch after the object is created, or you can pre-select the color and the stitch before using the tool.